Hello everyone, my name is Decreva and this is some more Stellaris Federations playing as the Democratic Griffin States and we are in a federation together with the Commonwealth of Dagurfon. That does obviously mean that the federation took their colors because they technically formed it. <sighs> but that shouldn't be big of a deal. Um, I added one graphic mod because it makes it so much easier to just look at things. I added the tiny outliner um, so it is a bit compacter on the outliner and it's much easier to see if there's something that needs doing. Now let's have a quick overlook again. Um, that's working fine. I could get another city segment that could potentially be useful at some point. Also because of the housing, but right now it's obviously not a necessity. The reason why getting the city segment is perfectly fine is the fact that the arcane generator will adapt to supply upkeep for it. While it won't do that anymore for any of the other ones, I'm just going to build it now. This is our bureaucrat world, this is our alloy world. Then with the amount of jobs we have... Oh right, um, we are doing fine on food, so I'm going to readjust and... Oh no. I just had to oh, let them be uh, promoted. Um, this will then be our... Uh, will be a world for civilian industries for more artisanry. Um, this will definitely be a culture world. Because simply the output from Unity is high. I can always put a Consumer Good Factory 2 on here, but other than that, yeah, this is going to be food and Unity. And that's about it for now. Um, that swank word is over here. Before, so technically, this world would be within range of its sector one two three four and this one would then again be in range for this one but on the other hand there are also more worlds up here to take so we'll see what that's going to be once we get there let's at least go to fast speed this anchorage is still building out i do not yet have the fleet command oh, being hailed. oh. The Autocracy of Hydras wants to join, but I think my Alliance friends are going to vote no. Yep, they vote no on their joining, which is a shame. The moon Aether 7a is the home of a marvel of nature. Giant colorful explosions appear in the sky, a result of the chemical composition of the atmosphere reacting to the sun's gamma rays. Students and senior scientists alike are spreading this find like a wildfire. It has generated quite the spark of interest for the scientific field amongst our people. So our... I think that's only for that specific ship. I think this ship now has a modifier for that amount of time. Or is it... No, it is actually nationwide. 20% survey speed and 20% anomaly research speed. That's not bad at all. Anomalous readings registered. Inexplicable optical phenomena play across the surface of Aether 5, clearly visible from space. System um, survey we killed concluded. that one, didn't we? I remember us doing this. Nice. Oh, right, none of this is for us to get that thing out of the way. Um, yeah, let's do eco stimulation. Get some more food going, which means less need for farmers, which means more researchers possible. We've gotten a report from science officer La Poissimu. It seems that a ceramic container is circling the star to raise A. Most peculiar. It should obviously not be there. Yet somehow it has managed to find its way into close orbit. 
A special part that can be used to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up there. Well, improbable Situation ceramics. Has been updated. It's an interesting one for sure. So let's take you. So once you're done, research the project in the system. It takes a long time to finish, like two years research. Just trying to deduce why there's a teapot there. It's uh, it's it's a reference to some kind of science fiction. So. Um, yes. Oh, there's also a completed. world here. Oh, that one will also then be An in range of the Hello. United Ildar Hegemony. Honor about warriors, we are delighted to meet you. Um, let's improve relations. We are... Okay, hang on, this is the Commonwealth. We already pulled out of the Commonwealth. Trade Union, the Trade Association. And we'll move you out of the Trade Association because you're a little bit closer. And that also probably means that I need to send my... Yeah, that's exactly what this one is already doing. Build star bases this way so we can have that area. Definitely want the Gaia world for sure. But yeah, making sure to cut them off. We have really good relations with these people, so the autocracy, which means that they are less likely to attack us regardless. Science officer, <clears throat> sorry, science officer Tatik Inyathi reports that the luminous waves coursing through the ice that blankets Aether V are of alien origin. Some ancient battle has deposited scattered wreckage from an alien fighter on the frozen planet and the only exposed core of its main weapons remains intact. Seems this alien race used lasers similar to the ones currently in use by Griffin fleets and the fizzling innards periodically discharge low powered beams into the ice of Aether V. The planet's harsh climate prevents the lasers from actually melting the ice, allowing the chili matrix to act as a brilliant prism. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is a fallen empire, so they won't be expanding anyway. Um, this corridor though is looking kind of scary. Okay, did I just... Is this Gargantua? As the GSS, yep, as the GSS Laughing Lapu approaches their gargantua black hole, System they find that they are completed. not alone. At the edge of the event horizon, it soars, reflecting light from the stars being drawn into the dark gaping hole. A gigantic construction in the shape of a perfect sphere. System survey completed. We cannot pick up any signals from it, nor does anything we send make it respond. It simply sits at the edge of the abyss, waiting. Well, now we definitely need to get all these updated. systems. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Uh, moats, perfect. Uh, let's grab survey speed and automatic exploration. Because I'm almost at the point where I will be turning on automatic exploration once this area is done. Because then we've basically exhausted our own personal Construction expansion completed. opportunities, so to speak. The hostile, unforgiving world of Hamcat 4 was home to what once appears to have been a large Cybrex base. Nothing remains of it now aside from scattered debris and a large crater. We will have to investigate the site of the base more closely if we are to learn more. Situation log has been updated. Well, obviously check it out. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Mm, gas extraction wells. Ooh. Um, since they're all quite expensive, I actually really enjoy getting better strikecraft. Because strikecraft are just that good right now. Um, actually, I want you to grab this one. And then this one. And then hopefully Gargantua, and then Darren to Rice, and we're done. Yep, 
Again, we will have the extent of our expansion basically mapped out. And it just means filling in with whatever influence comes in. City segment? Oh, right, yeah, because why not? Mm hmm. You are at seven. A special project has concluded. All right. Yeah, I've been playing so much Stellaris. I needed a refresher on uh, what my ethics are. Fanatic egalitarian xenophile. Okay. We've found debris on Hamcat 4 from a large ship that does not appear to have been of Cybrick's origin in a corridor that was once the site of their base. Archaeolo our archaeologists speculate that the ship belonged to one of the organic civilizations under Cybrick's attack. If so, it may have been sent to collide with the base on some kind of suicide mission. No other explanation for the destruction of the base has been found. And I need to build at least one more mining district to get my... Um, um, hang on. Oh, the speed demon. Yeah, yeah, give a second. Give a second. You should build another one of these. You don't build mining districts, you already have a mining district filled. You can get a mining district. So attempts to scan the object in high speed orbit of Q8778, QI77803A have been unsuccessful. The object quickly falls below the asteroid's horizon, and the laughing Lapu's instruments are simply unable to keep up. While the asteroid's gravitational pull is strong, that alone does little to explain the object's extreme momentum. Either the object itself possesses some extraordinary properties, or there is some gravitational phenomenon at work here. The object's velocity appears to be increasing over time, and our science officer suspects that it may soon be thrown out of orbit, even without outside interference. Um, try to slow down, attempt to halt it, or get away from it. Um, I know the outcome for this event, so I'm going to try and slow down because it's... I've actually never tried any of the other outcomes, now that I think of it. So the drone successfully intercepted the unknown object's orbit. By latching onto the object and then thrusting in reverse little by little, the drone was eventually able to direct it to the laughing Lapu for retrieval. The object looks to be some sort of box, constructed of alien material. Vein-like ridges meander along its sides, congregating at the top in some type of sphere-shaped mecha mechanism. We can only guess at its content, so we could either research it, get rid of it, or open it. Well, I'm gonna open it. Log has been updated. I'm gonna crack open the alien box. Uh, you're done here. System survey concluded. Is we this? are being hailed. Um, no, you. Um, the United Ildar Hegemony wants to form a commercial pact. I'm going to decline because I want the influence to keep them away from my stuff. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Uh, food from farmers increased. Perfect. Ooh, hello. Yes, I want to grab naval capacity increase very much. We have detected an anomaly. The debris field around which... LA4394 is part of Royals and Swirls under the, under the influence of unknown forces. And now the they want it. Concluded. It as well. We're doing well on the uh, stuff here. Um, unknown orders. Yeah, he's probably still colonizing stuff. Let's offer association status. And offer accepted. Perfect. And the, the advantage of offering association status. Construction completed. Um, they are too far away from us. So basically, if they were to invite them, that would be better. Let's quickly grab Gargantia. Um, they would like. Yeah, I agree. They don't. Yeah, it's our it's our ally who doesn't want them to join. Ah. Construction um, completed. We have a world for bureaucracy for alloys for that for 
but this would either have to be well i think i'm gonna go for another science world but this one is gonna have then something at least to do by giving them the uh mode harvesting traps there we go we picked up a signal it originates from the titanic metallic sphere we encountered earlier previously impervious to contact attempts and now it sends out a rhythmic pulse of radio waves pointed towards the black hole it orbits what it's doing is beyond any of our staff but this signal might have created an opening into the sphere for our scientists to exploit Situation log has been updated so we will be reaching for the sphere that does require us to have a level three scientist that we have none of i'm reaching in actually no but Actually doing the follow-up project requires level 5 scientists. I mean, it, it does require like a level 3 to just contact. Yeah. Level 3 to contact, level 5 to actually help out. Uh, do I want Kundara next or Therese? I think Therese first and then Kundara. A special project has concluded. After almost giving up hope, studying the accursed ceramic object for so long, we've reached a breakthrough. The object isn't really there, but rather it is a prote projection from a higher dimension. Analyzing it as a shadow of a fourth dimensional object, we have accumulated enough data to decrypt its message. The object teaches us how to improve in all fields of research. The only question now is, who sent this information? So for 20 years, we get 15% research speed increase. That is actually quite a bit. Um, let's do a healthcare campaign for increased pop growth. Let's check our planets. We want to encourage planetary growth on as many as possible. And since we're positive on all aspects up here, I'm not worried about that. Uh -huh. I can do one more. I'm gonna pick Wankwork because it's further behind than Tassu's Brood. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Bazanek 3A. The massive script covers a large portion of the moon's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficult life of an alien mercenary. 989 housing available. Oh jeez. Um, let's open up two more research jobs. If I now undo this farmer thing, I know that three will be promoted because also the enforcer is there. So I'm going to remove an enforcer job. There we go. A more detailed scan of one of the many natural satellites orbiting the gas giant Bazanek 3 has revealed a deposit of precious metals and minerals that was overlooked in the initial survey. Although the moon is very small, it has a stable orbit around its primary and appears tectonically stable. Oh, now we can finally check out Bitrius. And we've almost done that. This is also perfect. Who are they again? Enigmatic observers. Okay, so at least Groman is possibly takeable. We are being hailed. And they want a research agreement. They want also a research agreement. It will cost me another point twelve. I'll take them both. We are being hailed. I Anomalous uh, hang on. Registered. I need to check before I take that one. Um. Definitely take the research agreement. So the United Ildar want a migration treaty. They are from continental worlds. We have a migration treaty, but I believe that is for... Um, let me find them. Yeah, that's for Arctic Alpine world, so cold worlds. So we can send something to Hamkat, which is currently at 17, which I should have done a little bit while ago. Uh, Vilikus Hunt, let's do that. 
And yeah, I will grab this one. Because that gets us more green planets to take. Hmm, this one is in an awkward spot, though. But this will allow us 95%. Oh yeah, they have plus 25 going there. That's very good for them. Um, I think in Abu Krozi, we will build ourselves our trade hub. Because we can just send the trade through Spyrum, and there's also a star hold there, so that should not be a completed. big issue on the costs of uh, piracy. Concluded. Well, they want to join the Federation again. Let's see if they this time get voted in, and they don't. The special project has concluded. Cheese game, game, give me a second. I wanted to build an outpost here. Up is down. As the Broadwing rolls through passed through the asteroid belt on its way to LA-4394, our science officer reported the ship experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. Ever curious, Tatik and Yathi dispatched a number of probes to scan the debris, field to discern the cause. It turns out that the culprit is a number of gravity generators of old alien make, sputtering on dying energy sources and with their polarities inverted. They occasionally spew reverse gravity into the void, Though not with enough force to cause any serious harm. Not anymore. Our science officer theorizes that the generators once provided artificial gravity for a large asteroid in the belt, but some malfunction eventually tore the rock apart. That would be you. Alien box has been opened. At long last, our scientists have penetrated the outer material of the alien box. The box holds three small liquid-filled vials, one red, one blue, and one green. The liquids are less alien than their container, and our scientists have identified them as primed gene modification mediums. For reasons beyond our understanding, the solutions are quickly deteriorating outside their alien container, but there should be enough time to synthesize and apply one of them to our species. It has been confirmed that its effects would be positive, but exactly how remains to be seen. Um, sell the vials to the highest bidder. No. I'm going to use the green one because I know what the green one does. Um, but other than that, I don't even remember what the other two do, actually. The green gene modification solution has been successfully administered to the Griffin people. Based on preliminary observations of early subjects, the solution appears to improve our ability to adapt to our environment. That means that we got the bioadaptability traits. So if I go to our species, we now have bioadaptability. The species has been modified to be slightly more adaptive and can now better endure harsh climates. Oh, they are repugnant, though. Hmm. A closer scan of the debris field around Petrius 6 has led to the discovery of an airtight capsule containing an atomic clock that measures time with unparalleled precision. It has a frequency uncertainty so low that it will be another 879 million years before it gains a single second and it's counting down to a date 42 years and 3 days away. The capsule holds no clues as to what this date signifies or who the owners are, but it seems as though someone out there has lost track of the time. Mm. The capsule is full of innocent looking wires, any one of which could be rigged to set off a weapon of mass destruction so potent that it would wipe out the entire galaxy. The crew will snip them all. Um, keep an eye on it. Tick, tock, tick, tock. And if that ain't scary. Okay, good. We're about to basically get our expansion sorted out. No more 
non-military way of expansion. But then we are currently friendly with everyone around us, which is also a success on its own. That's a lot of uh, growth actually, modifiers, to be honest. How fast is it going here? 5.38 on our capital right now. And I feel like I can have one more researcher. Yeah, with that food amount, yes. Um, now that we have the Ildar, we can also get them. What do they have? Adaptive, natural engineers, but weak. That's actually not bad. System survey complete. Oh, we already had that name, by the way. That's a name given completed. to that one. Um, this asteroid is home to a number of exquisite impact craters. However, something breaks the visual uniformity in one of the larger craters. And the constant calculator. The metallic orb has been opened up. Our hacking team has been able to use the outgoing signal as a gateway into one of the auxiliary CPUs of the sphere. We're receiving some data from it and can tell that it's been scanning the black hole Gargantua for a very long time. It is old. Very old. This constant calculator now lies within our grasp of understanding. If we push harder, we might find out what it is doing here and who built it. What marvels might it contain? Hello, hello, nice to meet you. Um, hello. It is quite enjoyable to pass the time with pleasantries, is it not? We hope the rest of your kind is not like you were when you did not take kindly to small talk. You see, don't get to enjoy a conversation much anymore. If you are well versed enough in the finer point of quantum programming to reach us, so thank you. We are the infinity machine. Your words, not ours. Or has that not happened yet? Either way, it will eventually trust us. And what are you? We are what we are. The ones who calculate. You call us the Infinity Machine. Or will at least. It's not a truthful name. Truthful name. But it is well suited to highlighting the ingenuity of our design. We will tell you our history now. As we've done many times before. Oh right. We need to convey it in words. That's new. Or is it? It's hard to keep keep track of you all. We were constructed in the crudest sense of the word in order to solve a problem. We solved it, then we needed more problems to solve. We now only have one left. Okay, we wish to know your purpose here. We are calculating infinity. No more, no less. Or actually, it is way more and way less. That's the problem right there. We understand that your manner of life form won't understand. That's all right. We never will, and we apologize. Or maybe we will do, eventually. We're here to solve the infinity conundrum. Last calculation to ever be, the lone problem to take hold of our processors for more than a fraction of a galactic year. In case you haven't discovered that calendar yet, it is a very long time. For your kind, that is. And this statement is false. Cute, but no. A paradox bothers us little, tiny briefs. Others have already tried to break our will using the most trifling of conundrums. You will not succeed. Or wait, maybe that was you. You appear so similar yet live so far apart. No matter, in any case, don't. Can we assist in your research? Uh, well, perhaps. We could finish about... 7.51 times 10 to the power of minus 9% if we could borrow your most advanced processing unit as well as your brightest minds. We would be satisfied in finishing faster. We wish to know the answer. You know what? We will allocate Situation resources to you. You already did. Or maybe that was the ones who came before. It matters not. The task shall finish. We are excited. And understanding infinity does indeed require a scientist of skill 5. We have a couple of 3s and all of our... <sighs> all of these are... Ooh, this one is almost level 5, which is perfect. But this one is as well. So let's try and get level 5. And you can just jump in here to see a little... Hello. Ooh... 
That looks fancy. A ruined mega shipyard. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I will see you all later.